Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Karen, and today I am so psyched to be talking about my experience with Panzi. Panzi is a gigantic studio chain that specializes in ancient Chinese costumes. So what this means is that they dress you up to be a. Today I'll solely be focusing on the pre-shoot, how to get appointment, and also what happens during the shoot. And without further ado, let's go! I found out about Panzi on an app called Da Zong Dian Ping, which is the Chinese Yelp for all types of stories. If you need a review of some place, this is the app to go to. I looked through a whole bunch of shops and finally settled on Panzi because I really like their ancient costumes and their reviews were superb! Ah. You can contact them through Da Zong Dian Ping and the app will redirect you to WeChat where you can directly message the company's workers. They only type in Chinese, but you can always use Google Translate, Pleco, or other translation apps. So in this conversation, they'll ask you which tao chan you want, aka which package you want, i.e. how many outfits do you want. They'll also tell you how much it costs as well as then ask you to pay. After you pay, then they'll issue you a receipt and then you can proceed to make an appointment with them. If you're doing three, four, or five outfits, expect the photo shoot to take the majority of the day. My package had four outfits and I was there from 1 p.m. to 8 p.m. Let me introduce you to my package. This was my package and here's another option I was given. So the original price was 3,498 RMB, but the package was on sale. This is also known as a Shuang Shiyi sale. Shuang Shiyi of China is basically the Black Friday of America. So on major holidays or just here and there, they'll splash in a lot of deals. So make sure you take a look at that Zong Dian Ping or ask the workers themselves see if there are discounts most of the time. Yes, they do have discounts hidden somewhere. Anyways, for this package, you get to take home 20 photos. If you want more digital photos than a given amount, you can always order more when you're selecting the photos after the photo shoot. This portion over here tells you the theme you can pick your outfits from. As you can see, if you upgrade your package, you get more selection. This is all the extra stuff that comes with your package, like an eight inch photo frame with yourself, a 20 inch poster of yourself, a custom made mirror with your picture in it. These extra items are also negotiable and I'll tell you what I mean by that once we get to the photo selection portion in another video. And now that you're done making an appointment with them, congratulations! And celebrations. Now, it's the fun part. Go on the website, have an idea of what outfit you want to choose. Whatever outfit you choose, it's not set in stone yet. There is still leeway for change. Okay, so after you schedule an appointment and pay two days before your appointment, they will ask to confirm that yes, you will be there on time. Basically, they don't want people ditching them or flaking out on them. So during that phone call, they'll also tell you the things that you need to do to prep for the day of photo shoot. For example, they'll ask you to remove all your jewelry, so no necklaces, no rings, no bracelets, none of that. They'll also ask you to take off your nail polish if you're into painting your nails. And last but not least, they'll ask you to come with a bare face on, so no makeup. It's not a super big deal if you're unable to take off your jewelry or if you still have nail polish on. I had my helix and my conch piercings on and I couldn't take them off because I didn't know how to. The reason behind why they want you to take off all your jewelry is because the jewelry can show up in pictures and that makes it look very unrealistic. No one in the 15th century wore conch piercings and helix piercings, you know? <laughs> Today's the big day, it's your wedding day. JK. So basically, once you arrive at the location, they'll give you tea and candy. They'll sit you down on some nice sofa with some tea and candy. Then they will send someone to verify your identity, make sure that you are the person you claim to be and that you're not some random stranger trying to take away someone's deal. You don't need to bring anything. You just have to uh, make sure that that is your name and that is the phone number and that that's it. But anyways, this is the part where you tell them exactly what outfits you want and then they will write it down on you on the piece of paper. You should ideally have done your research and know what outfits to pick, right? Right? Cute row. Go on the website, have an idea of what outfit you wanna choose. They will of course also offer you suggestions on outfits too if you are unsure of what to pick. 
after you finalize your outfits, then you get to meet your makeup artist and your personal assistant. <laughs> the makeup artist sprinkles fairy dust on your face and boom, you become Cinderella. I mean, honest to God, I felt like a superstar. I was like, oh, this is what K-pop idols get. I've never felt so loved in my life. The service here is a plus 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 plus. The makeup artist and my personal assistant and the photographer were very kind, very patient, very friendly. They make you feel very comfortable and welcome. After the transformation into a fox or a queen, you begin to shoot. In ancient clothing, you have to look the part and give off the right feel. And this means you have to hold your head a certain way or look a certain way and you have to put your hands a certain way. So in another words, he'll tell you how to position your head, what to do with your hands, how to position your body, where to direct your gaze, and whether to smile or not to smile. He will hand guide you every step of the way. So if you don't know how to pose, don't worry. He got ideas. He's been in this industry for quite some years. You'll be fine. So after all this, you'll be asked to make an appointment to select which edited photos you want to keep. Turnaround time for photos is about a week, so you'll probably be asked to come back sometime in the following week. And that's it for today's videos. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. If you're curious about the photos that I took home, you can click the cards over here or in the description bar. I have linked that video down. Next week, I'll be talking about what happens after you do the photo shoot. So all the picture selection, all the haggling, and all the money stuff. So stay tuned. Until next time, bye-bye.